Hello Pisces, welcome to your May 2017 monthly love and general reading. Now in the position of your emotions, we do have the two of cups, clarify with the two of swords. So you're thinking about clearly about someone for a lot of you out there. Now this could be a soulmate. This could be a potential soulmate, something that you are nurturing, something that you will eventually understand when it comes to the connection and how powerful it may be. The two of cups is sexual chemistry, intellectual chemistry, an emotional bond that's very powerful and blessed by the universe in some way. Your angels, your guides are trying to pull you together, even though there are struggles, there have been struggles with this particular relationship or bond. Maybe this is someone from your past, you know. We all know that you can have many different soulmates. You know, sometimes you may experience a partner for four years, five years, a lifetime. It just depends on the lessons that the universe wants you to, to learn from one another through your experiences. But I feel here, because this bond has not been smooth sailing there has been a lot of issues ups and downs catastrophe sometimes not being able to understand one another in a mutual or what mutual way not being able to agree on certain things your values your beliefs the way that you may communicate the plans that you actually make together or desire to make together if they continue to fall to the wayside and you are not being heard in some way you may feel that you want to step away from this opportunity even though the two of cups means that there's strong a strong magnetic pull unconditional love but sometimes we always say that you know love love can and does have conditions because even though your heart is yearning and saying, I love this person very much. In an extreme way, you still understand that things need to be a certain way, that you need to be respected, that you need to have trust. And there needs to be balance in the relationship in order for that love to grow, if it's real. If it's sincere, if it's mutual. So if those things are not there, I feel the two of swords is you thinking about whether or not this is for you and wanting to possibly explore other options for those of you who are connected spiritually and emotionally to someone in your present, someone in your past. So this could be a future person that you could run into or if you're single, you're looking to possibly date to explore things sometimes if you are a business person or whatever it may be these are contracts that you may want to sign with a business partner and you're thinking about doing that all right so it could be that you are dealing with another pisces scorpio or cancer the two of swords is definitely a decision that you're contemplating or that you have made in a positive way or stepping away from someone or something okay so your partner, if you have a partner in that position, we do have the King of Cups reversed along with the Four of Wands reversed. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, some of you could be dealing with, doesn't have to be. However, your partner may not be stable emotionally. They may not be stable financially. They may not have somewhere to rest, to lay their head. Maybe they're going from hotel to hotel, state to state, city to city, person to person. It just depends. And maybe they need to rebalance their actions, their their priorities, in order for, again, that mutual understanding. And, you know, if you're on the same page when it comes to your goals, you know, sometimes your dreams, you know, what's working for you, what's not working in a partnership, why is the household the way it is sometimes this could be that your partner is not ready for a commitment they could be seeing you 
as the King of Cups in this way. Emotionally unstable, volatile at times, wanting to argue. Suppressing your emotions, purposely ignoring your partner or keeping your emotions away from your partner. They could be looking at you in this way. You could drink a lot. You could use guilt trips. You could be insensitive to other people's feelings at times if you are angry about past events, you know, looking at what has happened to you and holding on to those resentments. So this is how I can see your partner may be going through possibly a move. They could be dealing with a family member. They could be dealing with a friend or an ex-partner of their own. And this could be a Pisces Scorpio cancer. It doesn't have to be. Or they could be, you know, relocating or something like that or trying to. As the Four of Wands is, you know, a lack of stability. Things are falling apart at the seams. And it may seem as though they don't want you or that they may not want the commitment but that's how it may seem so i feel like they have some things that they need to or are working on or trying to and you may need to address these things verbally face-to-face -face communication all right now we have in the position of your advice in general advice we have the Knight of Pentacles. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Two cards of finance. Security. Again, some of you could be dealing with another person. Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. This is right next to your partner's energy. This is possibly dealing with your possibly dealing with two different people. Maybe a romantic partner that you have. You have your eyes on an earth sign. The water sign is someone that you're not quite happy with right now. You may not be happy with yourself. It just depends. The Knight of Pentacles, though, here in that combination with the Nine of Pentacles as well, I feel like a lot of you are keeping busy, putting a lot of work and effort into whatever business that you have, whatever work that you are doing, whatever plans that you have. You're trying to lay down the map. You're trying to create something. That's for the long term. Advice is focused on the long term and not short term gratification. Because if it's not stable and built from the bottom up, it won't last. I do feel that the universe wants you to be self-reliant. Don't rely on your partner at this time for Emotional security so much because, again, if they're showing up in this position, that means that they're not quite emotionally stable. They could still be dealing with some emotional things from the past or issues that they really need to work out with within their own energy. You can address these things with your partner, but I see you are focused on looking straight forward towards the future and your partner not may not quite be on the same page as you just yet or i feel like you know the intention is possibly there but you have to initiate that conversation you have to be honest about how you feel and i do feel that you know blessings are coming towards you you know if you've been working very hard there are rewards there you know time to go on vacation time to take care of yourself some leisure time activities enjoying yourself I do see a possible move here as well. Relocating, you know, packing your bags up, packing, getting some help for someone to um, help you relocate or look for a different location, different city, a place. It just depends. Maybe you and your partner, but maybe you're doing all of the work by yourself in some way. And maybe you need to if your partner is not ready with you to keep the stress away from of this situation so the advice is to continue to put in the effort 
sometimes it's being diligent you know sometimes it's frustrating that you continue have can have to continue to do something over and over again repetitive work but it can lead to the security that you actually want slow and steady does win, win the race at times so if you are separated from your partner right now don't get angry about it try not to get angry about it just know that the universe has a purpose there for a lot of you and even if you are with your partner you know some kind of space is possibly needed you have to use your intuition in the situation for you to get on your feet and for your partner to get on their feet now you do have the six of pentacles and the outcome and you have the star it's a major arcana now when I'm, I was shuffling the cards the nine of pentacles and the star popped out in a position and I made sure to lay them out just as how they popped out so they're clarifying these energies so I do feel like you are to be inspired happy try to know that good things are coming towards you through inspiration try to be optimistic I feel that you will towards the end of the month as the outcome says that your star is going to shine whether you're an artist whether you are you know painting a picture of the future something that you actually want it may not be exactly how you want it but as you do let go of control issues from the romance angels allow the situation to unfold naturally that blessings will come through good karma the six of pentacles there through some kind of charity someone giving you something the universe handing you a blessing of some kind you possibly receiving some help from your partner as you see the transition back in the beginning you know they were not quite ready but maybe they start to get on their feet they start to turn around and start to understand your perspective and how you have been viewing and feeling about your situation in some way so look out for or be expecting of something to come back to you from energy given out as you give you receive in one way or the other it does not always have to be money it can be material things it can be communication it can be a gesture that you actually want that you have been anticipating for some time and that's going to have you hopeful it's going to have you feeling better about yourself a spiritual cleanse in a way you're going to regain your belief and trust in the universe in yourself again if you did feel a bit down through all of the ups and downs that you have been through throughout the year and past years as well so it could be done with Aquarius as well as the star is there so letting go of the control issues it also says that you wish for things to go a certain way they may not go exactly how you planned again but it can be or come out in a better way that you have um, than you have expected it to so be open to that kind of energy of surprise of the angels your un the universe God whoever you may believe in even just yourself if you believe in yourself continue to do that have the faith I also wanted to mention that as I look at the four of wands reversed the nine of pentacles and the king of cups reversed as well because Mars will be in your fourth house of home and family and the Sun will be in Taurus this month in your third house of communication within your immediate environment which is dealing with siblings your neighbors there could be a lot of communication around the home environment relocating fixing up the home this could be a mother or father that you're dealing with helping out taking care of different things like that there could be some difficulties with you and your parent or your spouse in some way so look for the energy of the numerical number four being here with the total number for Terra added up and that is about structure stability planning and I do feel like a lot of you are trying to gain some structure within yourself within your environment within your relationships or job or whatever project 
that you are working on. Maybe you are your own project right now and you're trying to find ways to better yourself. So I do hope that these messages resonated with your situation in some way. If you would like a private reading, you can always come to me via my Facebook page or you can email me to set up something specifically for you. Much love and much light.